It's giving she has a case of Altoids buried at the bottom of her purse. Before we start the video, girl, I do want to mention that my mic wasn't on for almost half of this video. I know, girl, I sat down, began to edit, and realized the clips were not there. Bummer. But luckily, my built-in camera mic got everything, but there will be a sound quality change about 12 minutes in. But don't worry, girl, the message still gets across. Even with technical difficulties, we move. So I pray you guys enjoy the video and let's jump right into it. Janky microphone and all. What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back with yet another video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, girl, what's up? What's good? My name is Courtney or you can call me B. If you guys are oldies but goodies returning back to the channel for yet another video this week, then welcome back, girl. I'm glad to have you back. How you doing? How you living? What you cooking? Send your girl a plate. So on my channel, we specialize in all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and luxury, all while being on a budget. Listen, you guys, my motto has not changed from 2022 it's still the same in 2023 i honestly do not believe that you have to spend an arm a leg a toe and a foot to look your best feel loved and feel beautiful and i try to do that in every single video and in this video my lovelies is no different so this is the kind of content you see yourself liking i suggest you guys hit the subscribe button down below and join the beehive family the beehive gang and yeah Let's jump into today's video. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room, which is your girl's black hair. It's back for, for a little small period of time because since I got my new 2023 hair, my blonde highlighted number, um, I have not washed her since. So she's due for a wash and she is sitting in the sink marinating right now as we speak, girl getting spick and span. So until she is ready to be brought back to life, we're gonna support her. And I'm not mad about it. I just did a video on this hair. I don't know if it's coming up before this video or after. In today's video, you guys, we are doing a little bit more decluttering, a little bit more of starting over. I told you guys in 2023, I'm being very intentional about loving everything that I have and not just hoarding things to just have a collection and just have a smorgasbord of stuff. So we already went through our bags. I went through plenty of bag sales, got rid of pretty much everything I own. All we have left now are shoes and fragrances. And as you guys can tell by the title, today we are going through my fragrances. What I am in love with, what I'm going to keep, what has to go, and what's on my kind of in-between list. That's what's going down in today's video, y'all. I'm so excited. I just love to declutter my stuff so I can start fresh and actually be intentional with everything that I own. As I always say, do not mind your girl looking down because the notes are on the pipe and I got to read through them. We're gonna first jump into my top four fragrances that have to stay in my collection or if they're almost out, almost empty, the ones I would definitely have to be repurchasing in my new collection. And first we're gonna be starting with my Ah oh, Hermine Amber Oud Gold Edition. This fragrance is a game changer for me. This honestly trumps everything I've ever had, everything I own, I love this, okay? This smells so good. This fragrance screams big bag, sis, okay? Looking off of my notes, this fragrance has a top note of bergamot, cedar, and rosemary, a middle note of guac, mm, wood, spices, and cedar, and a base note of musk, amber, and resins. I don't know what any of that smells like, girl, but if you know that you know, this smells so good. I reach for her when I want to feel like big bag B, okay? Big B, when I'm on my big girl stuff, I'm on my boss lady-ish, she's that girl. This scent screams very much so alpha female because I think online it's actually advertised as being a men's cologne, but honestly to me, it, it gives very much so unisex. It's something that you really have to smell for yourself, but just know if you're not wanting to smell like that girl, that bossed up babe, then baby don't get this, okay? Cause she, she's, she's it, she's her. She's her thing. 
she's hemming me. Now I must be honest about this fragrance. Even though this is something I would definitely repurchase again, and something that I will keep in my collection forever and ever. The, this can range for the lowest, I think $45. The wear time is not that good. But since I love this so much and I only spent 45 bucks, I don't care about that, okay? I don't, I don't mind that at all. The way I combat that is I just apply some oil to my wrist and to my hot spots. Um, and apply it there so that way the oil kind of holds it a little while longer and allows the smell to be a little bit more potent and also in the future I think I'm going to invest in a matching perfume oil ball roller so that way it makes it even more potent and last even longer but I don't care for the price point it being 45 bucks I got what I paid for but maybe I got even more because this scent is immaculate I will list everything that I mentioned in today's video down below with links so you guys don't worry next being number two on my top four is going to be I can never pronounce this it's um alien goddess by Mugler Mugler as y'all can see this is the travel size even though this is a sample just lasted me a long time simply because um, I had so many fragrances and I was bouncing between. I wasn't picking her up every day. If you are someone that wears your fragrances every day, then getting the big bottle makes sense for you. From here on in my collection, I will only be buying and repurchasing sample sizes. It just makes sense for my lifestyle. I don't wear the same scent every day. And travel sizes seem to just work well for me for longevity reasons. So this fragrance has a top note of bergamot essence, a little note of jasmine flower, and a base note of bourbon vanilla. I may smell a little bit of bergamot, but that base note of bourbon vanilla is so heavy in this. Like, if you guys been rocking with me for a while, then you know I am a vanilla girl. I love vanilla. Anything vanilla, anything creamy in that nature, boozy in that nature, I love and I'm drawn to. Back in my high school days, back when I was in my Bath and Body Works bag girl, I was a Bath and Body Works warm vanilla sugar fiend, okay? It was just that bad. I mean, I had it on my hair, my clothes, my shoes, my skin, girl. There's nothing wrong with warm vanilla sugar, but to this day, since I've worked so much in high school, I cannot stand the smell. So once I got older, I had to kind of transition into a more grown and mature and tasteful vanilla. And that is exactly this. I go for this scent when I want to be more of a casual sexy, when I'm showing a little bit of skin, but not too much. This quickly turned into my everyday signature scent because of the base being vanilla and bourbon. Um, this is not a childish scent at all. It's not overly sweet. It's more of like a grown and sexy play on warm vanilla sugar. Come in hot with number three is going to be my All Her Mind Amber Oud Rouge. This girl changed the game for me. This was a game changer. If you guys were here for the discovery of this fragrance, you're an OG. This, this fragrance has notes of saffron, jasmine, white cedar extract, and burgers and musk. Now both these fragrances are from All Her Mind. This one was, I think the base price is $45. But since this one was such a hot commodity by it being a Baccarat by 40 dupe, I think I paid probably around 70 or 60 I paid for this, which is well worth it. Um, the same problem though with the staying power. But for some reason, this lasts so long on my boyfriend. I don't know why it doesn't last long for me or maybe I just don't smell it on myself. Baby, this is the truth. I don't mind getting a fragrance oil for this as well because she has to stay on my shelf, in my collection, in my possession. She's just that girl. If you guys own Back Route 540, then you know what kind of hold and chokehold that fragrance has on your heart. Now this scent is more so for when I want to feel everything but modest. <laughs> I reach for her in nothing less than a body con, okay? I gotta have the chest poking, the booty poking, the legs out, baby. It has to be all of that when I pull this out. This is my night out, let's play, grown and sexy scent. There's nothing modest about this scent at all. Like, there's nothing childish, nothing juvenile. It's really sensual, flirty, and feminine. And baby, this smells like you have a credit score of 875, okay? Now, last but not least for my top four fragrances that I must keep in my collection, it's going to be my Dolce & Cabana Dolce Garden. This is one that definitely had to grow on me. Simply because I'm not a floral girl. Even though most of my scents have floral in them, but a very light, faint note of floral, this is very heavily floral based. I think what kept me the most tied down to this scent is the fact that it has one of my favorite notes in it and that is 
coconut. The top notes in this are neroli, mandarin, and magnolia. The middle notes in this is frangipani, frangipani, lang lang, and coconut. And the base notes of this is sandalwood, almond, and vanilla absolute. But the coconut, the vanilla absolute, and the almond and sandalwood is definitely what keeps me tied down to her. Even though those scents and those notes are very prominent in this fragrance, you do still get a floral note. It smells like a warm hug in a garden in the fall, if that makes sense. <laughs> that's the perfect, that's the perfect descriptor. I just like this little dainty bottle. I wear this when I'm feeling very dainty, very girly, very feminine, and soft. This is a very soft scent, in my opinion. I wear her when I'm feeling cute and put together and dainty and feminine and girly. I don't really pick her up for those robustly sexy nights because this, that, how do you put it? Kind of dumb down the value of a robustly sexy outfit. It'll work. However, I like to match my fragrances to my vibe. And this vibe definitely gives me kind of like what I have on today. I'm not giving you too much, but I'm feeling very dainty, very cute, very put together, very girly. So this is what I would probably wear for today for this outfit. But a bodycon dress or something tight and fitted and figure hugging and sexy, this would be my go-to. To me, this is a very clean yet warm scent. And I don't have many clean scents in my collection, period, that I love. So don't take it by the garden. It's definitely one that has to stay near and dear to my heart and in my collection. Now that I've shown you guys all the fragrances that I love and that I'm going to keep and repurchase in my collection, now we're gonna jump into the fragrances in my collection that I like. Emphasis on life. I'm not in love with them. They don't stink. There's nothing particularly, really that's really wrong with them. They're just not a love of mine. I told you guys before that I'm definitely interested this year in only keeping things and using things in my space that I love, that bring me joy. These I may not pick up as much. These I just honestly may be tired of. Um, and there's quite a few, maybe 80% of my collection is in this category. I do want to start with my newest favorites that I got in this part of my collection. And that's going to be my Jimmy Choo I Want Choo. This has Velvet Peach, Vanilla, Jasmine, and Red Spider Lily. I definitely smell the Velvet Peach. I think what makes me like this fragrance is the hint of vanilla. It's not a very robust and in your face peach note. It's definitely prominent in here. It's not an overbearing peach. It's not a pow in your face peach. It's a read it on the paper and then you're like, oh, okay. I think I did smell peach in this. This is definitely a good blind buy. Okay, every girl will love this and I stand on that. I think I'm gonna keep this. Let's put this in the pile that we're going to keep along with my top four. Um, but everything else from here on out, minus that fragrance, okay, has to go. All right, so when I first saw this bottle, I ain't gonna lie, it kind of scared me because based on the bottle and how she looks, she's definitely giving grandmother, church mother, your mother. It's giving she has a case of Altoids buried at the bottom of her purse. But once you try her girl, you see she's definitely not that girl. She smells very flirty, very feminine, very girly. She definitely gives that I'm conservative, I love spending time with family, spending time with people that I love type vibe. It's amazing how a scent can really give you that much of a vibe. Besides everything else that I have yet to show you guys, this is the only fragrance I'm giving some grace. I'm gonna keep her because I want her to grow on me because she is a beautiful scent and she was a beautiful gift and I'll probably have to start wearing her more to get more of a, you know, a, a connection. Next on the I just like list but still has to go is going to be my YSL Libre. Now before y'all come for me, I know this is what the girlies have been loving. I know you guys have been boosted and pumped it to like this. And you guys, if you like it, continue liking it. But I don't. Now the notes in this are Lavender Essence, Orange Blossom, and the base is a Musk Accord. I'm not giving her away because there's a problem. I'm not giving her away because it stinks. She's just not a wow factor to me. People say she gives money. She does give money. I'm gonna say that she definitely gives you have money in your bank account, you have a high credit score, um, your coin jar is still to the tippy tip top. That's what she gives. To me, she's low key gives your boyfriend's cologne, but better. Even though I love a masculine fragrance, a nice cologne, this just does not speak to me, which is why I'm so happy I got the travel size. The staying power, I must say, is immaculate but it's just a little bit too much grit for me. As y'all can see with this being a travel size, yet again, I have a lot in here. Me and Libre, Libre just didn't mesh too well, so 
she definitely has to go. The next one is gonna be my Michael Malul Citizen Jill fragrance. This is breaking my heart. This is really breaking my heart because this scent is just so, so unlike anything I've ever had. This scent is a powdery floral, but a powdery sweet floral. It gives you a little bit gourmand. So with this being a floral and it being mostly powdery, I'm kind of shocked and intrigued that I like it that much. The staying power on this sucks. I have other fragrances that I love that also have a very sucky staying power, but I combat that with other things. But the price point of those things kind of match what I expected, you feel me? But for this fragrance, I wanna say I paid about maybe 75 to 100 bucks and the fragrance power sucks. I feel so bad because I can make it work. I can make it do what it do, but since it, it just sucks. <laughs> That's the thing else I can say. This really just sucks. The fragrance, the notes were dead on the head, were on point, but once you spray it and it hits your body, it may be a span of 30 minutes to an hour, it's gone. With me falling in love with this first spray in the store, I had high hopes for her, and once I got home and I actually wore her and got a chance to test her out, and she let me down, I got really, really disgusted. I could definitely make her work by adding a fragrance oil or a um, Vaseline. Honestly, you guys, I'm I'm really just over it. Next on this list, we have Lancome's La Vie Est Belle. <laughs> the notes in this are iris flowers, patchouli, Sugar, warm vanilla, Arabian jasmine, sunbok, and Tunisian orange blossom. Now, in my definition, this smells like sappy, sweet, but warm and inviting. Like, it, it smells really good. Just take my word for it. Sis does smell good. If you guys have this in collection, then you know. Sis is bomb. A lot of the women in my family own this. Um, I overdid her. I wore her a lot. My mom wears her a lot. My sister used to wear her a lot. So with this scent, I think I just kind of got full of her. Um, I've smelled her too much. I just kind of fell out of love with it because I've just gotten so used to the smell. That's just it. As y'all can see, I put a good dent in this bottle because I promise you I didn't wear her. I just, I overdid it. I put the gas on it. I overdid it way too fast. And now I'm just burnt out. This bottle just has a burnout with me. The next scent is going to be my Hugo Boss The Scent. This scent I am in love with. She is a very classic, sweet, somewhat sappy vanilla and I'm here for every bit of it. This is kind of what I reach for, not for going out at all. I pick her up only exclusively for a bath time scent and I pair her with my vanilla body routine. She smells amazing. She has a base note I know for a fact of cacao and it's so prominent. That's really all I smell. Um, but it's done so delicately and so so uniquely to where it's not overly vanilla, but it's definitely all you smell is going to be vanilla and cacao. The staying power sucks. This has the worst staying power out of anything that I've shown you guys. And the price point was ridiculous. I think online it may be a little bit more inexpensive, but in the store, I want to say I paid about a hundred bucks. And that's, mm -mm. this is a no for the price point only and also for the quality. It's a no for me, sis. But the scent itself is bomb. Next, we're gonna go into my Good Girl Supreme. This smells unlike anything I've ever smelled in my life. It smells so good. It smells so robustly sexy. The shoe could not fit this fragrance enough. This fragrance is not for the good girl at all. This fragrance is for the party girl, the live and la vida loca girl, the anything goes girl. It smells like a free spirited woman, a girl that just wants to have fun and live life on the edge. That's what this smells like. The staying power on this is amazing. The silage on this is amazing. This is an amazing fragrance, but I just don't love her. There's nothing wrong with her at all. I just don't have a love for her. She does not bring me joy. She just smells good, okay? Um, I highly recommend this if you guys are in the mood for a nice party night out club fragrance. She's definitely that girl. She fits that occasion to a T, but I will be giving her away because I am not in love. Next we have YSL Black Opium. <sighs> I don't 
say about this because we do not have a real relationship. I probably have never worn her but once in the past two and a half years I've had her. She's full to the absolute top to the brim. I do love pepper and spicy scents. This is heavily peppered. This is heavily fragrant in the spice family. However, I just did not reach for her as much as I thought I would. And that's just that. She smells good. Thing power is great. I just don't reach for her as much as I thought I would. And that's why she has to go. Next is going to be my Dosi A fragrance. And this is going to be the Aromatic Ginger. This is a dupe for the Louis Vuitton Lemon Scythe. The notes in this are top being ginger, grapefruit, marine notes. The middle notes are clary sage rosemary and geranium the base notes in this are amber wood and ciste labdanum <laughs> i actually do love her i'm not gonna lie i love this fragrance however i don't love her enough and i say that because mm, we may Oh, that's my problem. Y'all, I should have someone do this for me because now I'm kind of reneging. This is a hard one to get rid of because she smells so unique. She smells so good. She just gives class. She gives elegance. She gives seen but not heard. Submissiveness. She gives I can, but I'm not. She just gives, she gives all the things. Even though I'm decluttering a lot, I do have to give myself grace and know that I, I'm not ready to get rid of everything just yet. That's a word. Even though you're trying to improve and do better, just give yourself some grace girl and know that everything's not going to be perfect the first time around as long as you're making progress you're moving and i'm making progress but girl sis has to stay now the last fragrance on the list of i like but i'm not going to keep is going to be mugler's alien now this is another one that i did pick up in the travel size me and alien has had our run she's definitely one of those girls this is a fragrance that i think every girl should experience because she just smells that good like this is this is a heartwarming fragrance for me this really makes me feel this scent makes me feel strong it's hard to explain but it definitely makes me feel strong it makes me feel foreign mysterious as you guys can see sis has maybe one to two good sprays left in her she's gone um i wish i would have gotten her in a bigger size so i could have enjoyed her longer but now that she's finished even though i love her i will not be repurchasing this because i don't love it enough to repurchase it or to buy a bigger bottle this was this was kind of hard to explain on your own but it definitely has a pepper a spicy note it definitely has some sweetness in here she just does not smell good enough for me to repurchase or get a bigger size now we're going to our final three fragrances and these are going to be in the category of the scragglers now these scragglers are fragrances that have been just dear and near to my heart Fragrances that have been with me throughout the years and they are a part of the OG click original fragrance collection that I built when I was a younger girl. These just have been with me throughout my years and they hold a special place in my heart. They are labeled as the scragglers because they are the last of a dying breed. They are the last of my very original collection. And they just are here because of sentimental value. I don't wear them. First scraggler that has to go, my Escada Aqua de Sol. This was my first fragrance that I fell head over heels in love with. My mom gave me plenty of fragrances in my lifetime. She pretty much funded and sparked my whole fragrance collection. While I was in school, um, I didn't buy fragrances myself until I probably was in college my mom was the fragrance connoisseur of my family she has all the chanel's the burberry's the gucci's she's a fragrance og this was my first fragrance that she gifted me that i actually fell in love with she has a very a very fruity tropical vacationy smell this is definitely for a high schooler she does not give everyday wear at all she definitely gives vacation vibes she gives you bath and body works teas but on a more higher level. The first bottle that she gave me was a maybe half this size and I went through that like water. So once I went through that, I actually purchased it myself, my own coin because I loved it so much. And I had been loving her ever since, but now it's just a time for me to let this go. All right, the next scent is going to be my Givenchy Dahlia Davine. I think this was gifted to me either by my sister or my mom. This was my first big girl fragrance. 
I want to say my mom gifted me this or my sister when I was either 18 or 19. This smells really good, okay? This does have that grown and sexy play. It's just being pushed out of the bird's nest because um, I don't pick her up. I'm not in love with her. Um, and she has no purpose for me anymore. And if it's not intentional, baby, it has to go. Last but not least is going to be my Marc Jacobs Honey. This holds a very special place in my heart because we have been through so much. This has so much value. This has so many memories in it. Firstly, by the aesthetic. This became a signature scent for me because of the bees. My very first time wearing this fragrance, I wore it to church. I cannot forget it. As soon as I got in the car, dripping in my Marc Jacobs honey, a bee came and stung me on my lip. By the end of service, I had a fat bottom lip. Yes, Marc Jacobs honey has to go, but she'll forever hold a special place in my heart. And that, my lovelies, is the end of my fragrance collection declutter, my fragrance collection startup reboot. If by the end of this video, girl, I have forced you, persuaded you into falling in love with me, girl, I suggest you guys hit the subscribe button down below and join the Beehive family. And also hit that bell button down below as well. So whenever I post a video like these and others, you'll be the first one to know about it and you'll never miss any uploads. Comment down below, what was your first big girl fragrance? What was your first non-juvenile, non-super girly and sweet fragrance that you received past the age of 18? Or whenever, whenever your first big girl fragrance was, let me know when, what it was, and what it meant to you down below. And yeah, as always, I love every single one of you guys so, so much for watching. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded. Mwah.